Good morning, my friends. Welcome back. Just one week later, <laughs> I supposed to post this video upload like last week, to be honest, or I didn't have time, or I forgot, or something happened, and I did not create any beaded cross stitch. Even I promised, but week later, better later than never, right? That's what I always say. It's my laughing cow, like I named this one. And this is from Paint Some Way. For those who maybe just happen to be arrived to my channel for the first time, you can order this canvas from Paint Some Way, which that's where I got from. But also other stores have the same canvas as well. Now this is beaded stitching. And I finish in here two colors because uh, some spots in here, for example, one of the color in here, uh, also very little spots it's just a, on the inside of this year would be another color would be finished this dark one only like on the nose and inside of oh that's a horn that's ears this is the ears on the inside in here so some colors smaller patches some bigger one so I got two smaller one that I finished already and that is this uh, red color in here that I have very pretty pearlescent kind of shift in color beads it was just a um, maybe tongue maybe lips I don't know and in here you can see those four spots of this another one very pretty beads so those ones completed and I have this is the beads that left over from just two colors they are done all right, I can put them aside right now, somewhere here. And excuse me, Daisy decided to move from sofa to the floor. Uh, now I will be starting working. I have a big bag of black color. And here is how I work. You see that I put my hoop into the beaded mat. I purchased them in Michael's store. I wish there was a bigger size, but this was just like a squares, little squares. A perfect go, so I'm just doing it like on the inside of the hoop so beads doesn't slip away. And it's work good for me this way. You can also use, you know, the other trick to use for the beads. Uh, you can put double-sided tape. Like for example, okay, I will be working uh, on this area in here. You can stick double-sided tape in here, so it will be stick to your canvas. And on the other side, you can put your beads in here, and they would be stick to the tape. It would be easy probably to pick, but I did not try that technique because um, I just uh, don't. I don't. I don't think the beads would be sticky, uh, but I like to keep them like this on the side in here. So I will start from this leg. I will go, okay, let me zoom a little bit close to me. See what we will have. Um, let me reposition, reposition camera, okay? So first, before I start stitch, I kind of look at first where I want to go. Uh, if I could start like from this side, go, go, and go, then up all the way. Okay, I put already beads up front of me. Uh, if I want to start from this side, right from here, and just go up and continue this way, or I decided to stitch from this point, go down, stitch all the way in here, uh, and continue this way, and maybe um, just go straight or go from here and go up to take this one and from here continue this way so I have continuous line without breaking a thread so we'll see I will start from here and go up and move this way now I will stitch not in a frame in my hands okay so I roll my canvas that's what I do I roll like this and I will hold in my hands if it's going to be a little bit maybe shaky please forgive me 
but let's zoom you close to me as much as possible the best hopefully you will see good I will try to remember to look on my camera so we don't uh, <laughs> get off the camera you know okay so I will stitch my first bead from my left corner to the right corner and because this is my first bead I will stitch it twice of the same one let me see if I can use the light or not let me just check first yeah you might not gonna no it's too much shadow all right we'll keep this way <coughs> and we will continue to go down now for our new beaders please remember that all your beads have to point in the same direction it doesn't matter if you stitch from the bottom corner to the top or from the top to the bottom wherever it's close for you with your thread to continue your line but make sure they all go this way as I started and not on any given point turn you know the other direction because it will be very very visible <coughs> okay my apology i wake up with such a horsey voice and no i'm not sick but i just need something i guess hot to drink and i didn't have any drink yet i wake up and i went straight to check on my channel make sure my video posted and by the way this video you should watch on um, thursday i believe no hold on right now i'm recording it's 22nd and i have two videos for today which is one stitch with me european town and the other one is a review of two beautiful cross stitch so both video for cross stitchers which is this video also kind of for cross stitches I have to create quickly video for diamond painters as well maybe I can post again to video or use this video for next day and post diamond painting first <clears throat> oh do you hear Daisy my my son just came he his friend missed the bus and he needed to get a ride so he called my son so it's going to be loud listen i just gonna let you listen how crazy gets when he gets in the house see if you can hear it lots of footsteps but actually i'm surprised that daisy don't make any noises usually she <laughs> create lots of crazy noises i will make make her to do noises so my girls can hear her can they hear her mm. oh listen listen mm. can you can you hear daisy she's like oh come on daisy where's ivan Did you hear Daisy? Uh, I hope you hear her because she's going nuts. She's like, oh, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. She making such a funny noises when she see him. So anyway, I, I sent my son to get me coffee from Tim Hortons because I feel like I need to cuff all the time. I need to, I need to have something hot to drink. So the, those noises will be continue from Daisy, but now she's waiting by the door for him to come back. And then 
My son and I, we will watch some movie. We're watching movie Fast and Furious. Oh no, we're watching some other movie today. It's a um, rock up there. Dwayne, uh, what's, what's his real name? Dwayne, ah, uh, what's his name? Johnson, Dwayne Johnson. So we are watching, we were watching some movie and did not finish okay i cannot find the whole are you serious okay next one so we're gonna finish watch movie so i'm just gonna i say give me half an hour so i finish my video first because the sunlight is so important right now before it's run out it will be not good anymore to record video so I have to take this precious time and of course how I watch movie guess how I watch movie yes lots of you probably already know how I'm listening with my ear that's how I watch my movie because my hands have to, to do something so usually I might will be diamond painting because I want to finish one more of the canvases uh, I do canvas with the foxes mama and baby fox so I finish white background and I just waiting to create one more video with you with the colors of the beads so and that canvas will be finished for this year oh I thought what is going on see like one of my thread right in here got kind of like a over loop and I was wondering why it's go so hard my tail of the thread got over twisted all right we are good we are good now do you see the difference on the size of these beads have these beads much bigger than this one i think visually you can see it and that's what i'm saying this um this beaded stitching that they have they are beautiful on the end when it's done but the beads are consistency not the same and that's the downfall of this kind of no, not branding beaded stitching I was going to order some from beaded stitching from Aliexpress but I don't like they change glass beads to the plastic pearl pearls beads and I do not like that plus with those pearl beads they do nine count Ada so that just like humongous would be very big designs and I don't think I would like the yeah it would be fun to work with but I prefer still you know at least 14 count Ada for the beads because that way you can use your uh, seed beads number 10 or number 11 fit very nicely as well smaller beads probably would be okay as well but not bigger one for 14 count because if you would have a bigger beads than you know 11 count a beads could probably push each other when we have enough room to sit nicely in this example this black beads will sit in here very loose because they are not big enough so when I create this little patch in here then you will see better right now it's just a one line kind of hard to see we have more beads in here so it's a visible patch you can see that it's actually this size of the beads looks good in here um, with the black that we're doing right now it will be probably a little bit airy or could be also nice you know 
So I'm calling this cow canvas a laughing cow. <laughs> and some of you like this name and you're already asking me when you're gonna stitch your beaded laughing cow. Yes, you like the name. And hello to you, you know who you are. I can't remember at this moment <laughs> name who was saying this. I have to go to my comments and check. You know, it's a little canvas, but it's the most like bigger so far what they brought into the store. I wish they would bring like a canvases, canvases and bead and stitching. I've been asking this for two years, trust me. Every store, especially like before when those all those stores open up and ask my advice what to bring new product to the store, I always say beaded stitching because it's not very common in here in US and Canada but it's very very popular in Europe so let's bring this beautiful craft to this side of the world so anyway this is what they brought so far you know better than nothing right and this design is the most like a bigger like those keychain yeah they cute but it's just so little work to do with them and for us who like to cross stitch a lot uh, we want to work on a bigger canvas so you can have hours and hours of fun right but remember that that every cross stitch you can turn into the beaded stitch and one of the example I have the beaded stitching with black and red there you go that's another canvas that I should do some kind of progress on it with the red and black beads that I'm stitching and that was a Ukrainian design that I decided to turn into the bead and stitching uh, go to my playlist beads uh, whatever I think it's called beads my playlist and you can see up there I was stitching uh, there's few different designs up there I'm stitching uh, you can find uh, faster in my playlist if you don't know what canvas I'm talking about so yes basically all you need to have beads buy somewhere in bulk or big packages uh, and start your own beaded stitching on any cross stitch canvas you have you can use coordinating threads like we're using in here which was provided by this kit so you can have more coverage and I think because we using these threads in here we have a more coverage <coughs> my son I need my coffee where are you uh, because we using these threads in here it's more kind of filling instead of if we would use a beaten thread or like a fishing line uh, it would be too thin and more kind of like a spaces probably we would see more empty spaces so it definitely the threads camouflage better and also they give your beads more a vibrant color because some beads are very translucent kind of like transparent and if you would stitch them with the fishing line like this you know invisible line beaded line it will be very very light colors but with the colors of the threads the beads kind of sometimes change in color a little bit to more vibrant color and that's awesome I like that it's just only thing that you need to change colors of the threads and kind of uh, wiggle and zigzag to get to the certain patch but if you would use invisible thread you can literally just stitch all the way lines go up and like or up and down or like horizontal go and you just pick up the different bead in here and keep going pick up different bead but the thread the same one thread but you have to have a, a neutral thread or could be white so it's fit for all beads uh, but you would see white if you would stitch in a black right you would see white spots in here so this way we have coordinating colors and I think it looks nice like that it's take a little bit longer maybe to stitch because you need to change 
color of the threads and also look for those patches of certain color, right? But it looks nicer. So I I'm happy with this one. And this kits usually have those two needles, two needles, they oh here, camera, two needles. Oh my son came home with coffee. It's gonna be another attack of dogs on him. They just love it. So anyway, usually I like nobody to interrupt my video. So I have to sometimes stop my video and um, you know, cut some pieces if it's get too loud with dogs. But maybe, maybe right now I'm just going to keep continue so I don't have to. Okay, this is friendly stitching. Remember that this is friendly stitching. Friendly person named Natalia, <laughs> and we having fun. You make me happy. There. I even have a tears in my eyes by thinking about it. How happy I am to have you here. And then I'm gonna watch movie with kids. The Christmas almost here. I still did not wrap presents, which I was supposed to do this few days ago. Just can't get to it. Always leave until the last moment, but I will have to probably do it today. My kids already off the school. Uh, well, the school not finished yet, but they give them chance or finish this few days in school or stay at home to be online for the last two days before Christmas because everything is going to be shut down again soon. My goodness, this is so annoying. And you know what I fear the most? That it's going to be so mad till summer then it's not going to be able for me again to go back home visit my family. I hope not going to come to that point. Okay, are you ready? My son is going to be open front door. So it's going to be loud. Let me try not to turn off the video maybe. <coughs> what are you going to bring to me because I'm not stopping my video. Can you deliver my coffee please? What a good boy I have. Thanks, baby. There you go. I will call you when we get to the movie together, okay? Yeah. All right. Thank you. See how good boy I have. <gasps> Brought me my coffee. So give me a second. I have to sip my coffee. <coughs> okay, Daisy, go all the way down, girl. Oh, I know what she was waiting for. Usually, <laughs> when my husband brought me a coffee, she confused right now. <coughs> okay, more coffee. Okay, so when my husband brought coffee for me, he always bring Tim Hortons plain Timbits. Oh, which is not the best thing for your dogs, but our dogs spoiled and they waiting for those bags with Timbits. Uh, like the one that like, doesn't have any tapping or sugars, so it's a plain Timbits, like really no taste into it, but dogs love them. So now Ivan brought me a coffee, but he didn't buy a Timbits and they just like look and chase and like, what the heck? Where's the bag? We don't see you. <laughs> So Daisy looking confused in here. She's looking for her treat. But that's okay. I can give her later some milk bone, her own treats, which more nutrition and better for them. I already told my husband, we have to stop, give them those sweets. They are not good for them. But it's like, you know, little kids running to the door and looking after those treats. Yes, they are spoiled, rotten. Oh my God, I love them so much. So, here is our laughing cow. No, maybe I don't say, uh, I shouldn't say laughing cow because we don't wanna be copyrighted from the 
cheese brand of love and cow okay so anyway this cow now remember my friends if you are beginner maybe this little tip will be important for you this little circle that you see in number one it doesn't mean you need to stitch the circle in a different color it's the same number one they just always outline in white color to see better number of the beads that you have to stitch so you have to continue wherever the circle stay in which color that's the color you stitch in so we are continue over stitches to stitching this in black beads all right I know many of you already know about this but there is lots of people that never bit stitch before so this is actually important and you know what happened to me one time I was uh, cross stitching and did not pay attention and I literally left the circle behind us like over stitch before and almost went to the end and I was like what I'm doing what am I doing yeah I almost missed this one and looking for something different thread to stitch so even I knew it's the same color it's like automatically went like not wasn't stitching that spot I thought it's a different color till I realized it's my number color yeah happened so thank you everyone who's stitching with me European town as well and some of you been asking where can I order uh, my friends there's a links always under my video in the description box if you don't know how to find it uh, what's the description box it's under my video it says show more you click on that show more it will open for you page extension and that's where you can find all the links all the discount codes that I have with many other companies lots of discount codes up there use them save some money and enjoy your crafts okay so now let me show you okay maybe I need to read just a little bit camera or what I don't know hold on not this way um, now you see this uh, let's investigate okay together talking about beads that they are much smaller size than <clears throat> man I lost my voice <coughs> I think I started my video too early <clears throat> coffee will help it's a strong coffee today must be fresh pot anyway <clears throat> let's try this beads much bigger and coverage bigger but because in here we're doing the same thing like um, coordinating color of threads black you see how it looks good actually if I look straight up like in my um, vision in here yeah I can see like an empty spot pods but they are barely visible because also threads itself come camouflage them so we can't even barely see the yellow color underneath so really helps this black threads to make it better and more fuller so I actually like the way it's look like it's plus you don't have pushing beads to make them wiggle on your canvas they layer nicely uh, and it's uh, pretty good coverage I have to say for not being beads very very even they're not like all consistent size some of them more thicker some of them more uh, thinner for example let me try to pick a couple beads in different size like whatever I have in here okay look at this you see how they are not maybe from far you can see one is a little bit bigger one little bit wider one thinner so they are not consistent in sizing but in here we can't really see it and that is the beauty about it okay 
So go ahead, order, don't worry. You will have fun, I promise you. This is a fun to stitch with beads. Much slower than stitching in a cross stitch because you don't have to stop all the time and pick up the bead. Which don't forget to pick up the bead every time. If you're so used to, to cross stitch, you might well forget and just go for it, you know, to stitch without grabbing a bead. So, in the beginning, when I started bead and stitching, I did a few times mistake, but then I have to go back and pull my thread over to grab a bead at first. So it happened, but that's okay. You make a one-two mistake, then you will kind of automatically remember to grab your bead next time. I don't even think now, just my hands go for a bead. <clears throat> so this one uh, project, I'm not going to be like on a rush to create this before years gone. I don't have to speed up. I just have to say that, you know, if you like to order, yes, I approve. I show you all pluses, all minuses. Uh, usually, always beads leftovers. Sometimes, when the beads like this, lots of this bigger beads, when I was stitching pony, my little pony, uh, some of the beads I was really kind of struggled to get uh, to the end with because beads bigger so weight and a weight you know they weight in those bags for the beads how much they needed for the canvas so if beads smaller it will be bigger quantity of them if beads bigger same weight but it will be less beads inside of your package so it could be not enough but so far I did finish, I did finish, which on a pony I did struggle with one color and I thought I'm not going to be have enough because some of them was just like super tiny, some of them bigger one, but I still managed to finish. Uh, you can watch my video up there, I think I explain uh, up there my obstacles, whatever I did have. Uh, in here, so far, I don't know. This, you you can see already the two colors I finished and literally like there's a lots of beads left that's a big amount of beads left so that's good um, it should be always <clears throat> like at least 40% I would say should be more beads same as in diamond painting for example they should be always more than like you know 30-40% should be more of the product because if you have a bad quality, you have something to choose from to pick the best one, right? And you can hear my voice is getting hoarse again. Like, what is going on? <clears throat> I might have to make this video shorter. No idea why my voice is changing. It's a beautiful outside. Sometimes even sunny. Cloudy sunny. Green grass. No snow. Uh, meteorologists promise rain with flurries, but those flurries probably will melt before they hit the ground because the temperature still will be plus one. The coolest they promised this week it will be minus one. So, oh no, they say plus one, but it will feel like minus one, which is nothing, right? So I'm happy. Catherine said, she said December went very fast because no snow <laughs> she's upset that there's no snow and I told her the older you will get the less snow you will like when I was a kid I was sitting by the window <coughs> waiting patiently for those first snowflakes to fall down from the sky and they wouldn't and then I go sleep and all of a sudden my mom in the morning come wake up go look outside go look in the window and I would go and it's covered in snow that was magical but that was you know me being kid so yes it was lots of fun to play in the snow now the older I get the less I need the snow I need something tropical sand ocean beach palm tree 
pina colada in my hands. <laughs> that's that's my winter. Yeah, that would be my winter. <clears throat> So you can see I'm holding my canvas in my hands and it's pretty comfortable this way. Uh, to help me hold my canvas better a little bit, I also will be pin with the little um, with the little clips that I have, you know, that sometimes I use them for oops, okay, now I picked the bead before I even went to the top of my canvas. What I'm talking about is, I'm going to show you, hold on, right in here. So if I roll nice and straight canvas, let me just do it. I put on my lap pillow, Christmas pillow, so you don't see my legs. <laughs> so I would put pin right in here, like right, okay. First of all, we have to roll it straight. Why I cannot do this now? Because it's on camera. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so if I would do like this, and then I would pin with my pen, pin, or you know that clothes pins that you put clothes on a, to dry outside, those kind of pins, or dollar store have lots of pins. Just pin in here to help to hold your canvas together, and one like this pin on the top. And then it's easy to hold, but sometimes it's untightened when I'm holding it just like this. But it's comfortable to stitch like this, and I'm talking to you about this because not everybody have a frame handy at home or a hoop. Maybe you never stitched before, so you don't have any of those hoops. So this is why it's easy to stitch, because the canvas are very stiff, very stiff. It's, it's treated canvas, so it's stiff, and just to hold them, kind of crunch it up will be hard, but when you roll, it's much easy to handle and that's my tip for you it's the best work for me and maybe will work for you just try it if it's not work for you find your own way we all different we all like something different and maybe you have better tip you can teach me something <clears throat> I'm glad to hear to some advice okay, I have to check on the back my so my thumb in here on the top, but my bottom uh, fingers in here because I in here. Okay, let me just get it to the other side first. Okay, and then I will try to get up and right in here on this point. See. I'm controlling this thread with my fingers all the way to the end so it doesn't knot. So I'm always holding with this fingers, with two fingers, uh, make sure my thread not tangle up. So sometimes I can feel it, it's go tight, so I'm just like loosen up from here to make sure it's all go good. Let's see, oh, did I just touch camera? Thread stuck in my nails. It is not very comfortable to stitch with long nails. As much as I like to have long nails for the beading or stitching, literally, it's not very comfortable. For diamond painting, doesn't matter what long nails you have. You have a drill pen and it's comfortable no matter what. For the cross stitching, it's a little bit tricky because sometimes thread stuck behind your nails kind of like tripping over so what do you think comment do you think you like the way it's uh, black beads layers i think looks good i think so look up on the camera if you're stitching right now uh not camera your screen whatever you're watching <laughs> yeah I think looks good and if I can show you like sideway you see how it's uh, which way which way which way oh, this way look at that like three-dimensional look looks so good and it feels so good to the touch really nice uh, when I touch like this when I go like this I can feel it that this beads sticking out a little bit higher because they are bigger size 
but this one it's like so silky and smooth to touch because they are all kind of same same size in height okay I have very interesting package stuck in Canada already for about what five or six days finally it's moved from airport now to Toronto scanning some kind of center it feels like it's scanning forever and that is a package with very gorgeous jewelry did you see my video review about silver rings jewelry uh, if you didn't check my Natalia XO beauty channel uh, up there from Joancy and this package that I'm waiting right now it has a little bit more stuff up there uh, and something up there very interesting that maybe some of you I would say many of you will be interested in it um, so I ask company if they can put that um, for me to showcase to you and they agree um, so yeah I should receive the package in a few days now I think the most scanning and all the stuff already completed uh, but this is from different company it's not to NC and the tracking number they provided to me a pretty good tracking system up there it scan every single turn whatever your package go it's absolutely tell you every movements of the package so I'm happy for that maybe maybe hopefully tomorrow we'll get here so I can show it to you sip I will be do more beading stitching after New Year or even like after Christmas is done right now it's so hectic it's just uh, I have less time to record video because we're still kind of uh, driving shopping and preparation and then uh, you know we're gonna have guests and then we go as a guest to the other people and then uh, tomorrow oh no wait a minute it's today what's today 22 what kind of day oh is it today let me check calendar 22 what's 22 um it's Wednesday today. It's tomorrow we have a dinner. <clears throat> we invited our neighbors to a restaurant for a Christmas dinner. A young couple. And we're gonna go have some good dinner. Yeah, so it's kind of already, you know, starting all those dinners, guests, uh, friends and family. And yeah, not much free time to create and the time are so precious. Good thing about there is, I believe it was yesterday, this crank point that day, now time day will get longer. I think it started yesterday. Okay, I see a little fur or something. Uh, yeah, I think now days will get longer. So for a YouTuber who's suffering with good without good light to record video, I see lots of people complaining about it because it is. Since you've done certain time, did I get it? it feels like I have a little fur or something. It's hard like an okay I see hold on hold on that thing is bugging me I'm gonna get my handy dandy tweezers and get this hair out oh talking about tweezers and tools 
let me show you something oh my god if you have a dollar store in your area you should go you should go and get the scissors look at the scissors oh they are so good look at that this one is like a chrome um no how you call it um okay they have in silver color in yellow gold and copper that would be like a, in copper but this one is like a tinted i love this is was the most beautiful and they are they are heavy duty heavy duty and they are so sharp so sharp so if you work with fabric maybe your quilter and this is definitely good scissors to keep in your crafty room put luck in here so your husband don't get to the scissors and yeah go and get it and they were uh, i throw away in here on my paper of garbage but uh they they come in this kind of um packaging okay packaging and there's another package on the inside to support scissors so um yeah four dollars was in canadian money i have a still price in here you can see it but such a good scissors oh my god and they are beautiful as well so if you need a good pair of scissors in your household this is to go and what i like about them because you see they're not ordinary scissors that go straight this one the design kind of flat on this side so see it's like you can stand so if you cut fabric to keep it this flat on your table and at the same time it's comfortable for your hand to hold it yeah awesome well awesome to cut paper for the wrap and presents for the christmas as well i do have a, a battery activated uh, scissors that we order oh my god long time ago um my mother-in-law still was alive I think from A1 or something it was those oh no or maybe seen on TV you know those white scissors that you put battery inside and then you just push button and then like chat and paper so fast oh my god those are saver life savers because in some point like right now for example my my arm my whole wrist is really sore my right one so I'm actually surprised that beaten stitching is a little bit easier for me to do than cross stitch because this beaded needle uh, don't have too much force to it's easy to pull it out so i guess i will do more beaded stitching than cross stitching till my arm get better but uh, to wrap paper like to wrap lots of gifts those white scissors are so good and i saw them somewhere you know what on some of the diamond painting stores i saw those white scissors not sure if um if uh, paint some way have them or not but check for example section of the tools uh cross stitch tools sometimes they can put them into the diamond painting tools white scissors they will help you i just don't know if that would be the same quality or not as i have but definitely, definitely those scissors must, you must have. If you have lots of kids and lots of presents to wrap or lots of grandkids, I don't have yet grandkids. All my kids still single. My older son is 26. And my youngest one who brought me coffee, he's 17. And he is going to leave us for army in the summer whatever they call him he got approved to the next uh, level so it looks like he's doing good they give him um, a certain uh, amount like to to exercise to get to the next level um, he need to run at least like five kilometers to run so we did I already told you we'll join the gym which is like five minutes away from us uh, to walk literally five minutes to walk uh, so he is going working out 
running, using the treadmill. He really, really wants to go to army. Oh, I'm gonna miss him. Horrible. I wish he would stay with me here forever. You know, the mom, mom, the bubble wrap mom. I am guilty for that. I love my kids. So he's 17 right now. And then Catherine, 13. Wow, why are we so quiet? Are you there? Are you still there? Oh, did you watch my video on my beauty channel? Am I doing a hair? I was goofing up there. It was so funny at some point. I was laughing when I was doing a mask on the face. Oh my God, I was looking so funny. If you want a good laughs, go to my Natalia XO channel. I have that channel. Mm, pin up there you can find even on this channel link to it or just google Natalia Exo oh my god I was laughing so you can see me there since all of you almost all of you in here ladies uh, you might want to join me up there thank you for those who did I have too many channels, but I don't have too much time to post on everyone. In here, on this channel, I'm kind of... It's like, you know, a good student when you get in this route that you have to. Well, not like you have to. No, I don't have to. But I choose to. Since pandemic started, I always feel horrible for those who stuck alone in a house and couldn't get out nowhere. And... I got to this routine then it's kind of easy for me now to create video for every day in here it's like I I need to you know it's like a daily um, how would I say discipline or what so I'm good with that from my beauty channel up there kind of you know that's the channel that should be more uh, my face showing in a camera and I'm not always comfortable to show my face like you know without makeup uh, I want to get ready or stuff like that so that one channel got sometimes a little bit less love but um, I know I can create more videos that could be just my hands for example like do some nails tutorials some designs but I have to get to that maybe you can help me to push me to remind me so I can post some video by the way I will have a video up there hopefully soon because I want to do a giveaway as a Christmas giveaway for a makeup palette and also one makeup palette will be giveaway on my beauty Instagram which I do have you know Lovecraft Forever Instagram that you know and I have a Natalia Simpson Instagram for my or Natalia XO I think it's called for my beauty Instagram and then I have a third Instagram which called Detecting Beauty up there it's like outdoors thing uh, which I did not upload up there in the picture for a long time. Uh, usually I post up there like a rock collection, metal detecting thing. Um, when I camp, some fun stuff. So it's kind of like outdoors thing. Treasures and stuff like that up there. So yes, I do have three Instagram pages. I have two TikTok pages. You can join me, find me there. I have Twitter, I have Pinterest, I have what else I have? I used to, I still have, but I abandoned them like a 
blogs. I don't do blogs anymore. I used to have a blogspot.com website that was a good for blogging, but then something changed, updates, and just knock me out because uh, I, I can't get to my old, I don't remember password or something, and I don't think I can get to the blogspot.com anymore, which I started that uh, blog, I mean, yeah, when I started to do my cards, and that was a Lovecraft Forever, actually it was Lovecrafts with the S, Forever. And if you will Google, you will see my blog and my cards post, uh, what I created up there. Uh, but I cannot get into it as a uh, admin. I can see it, I can Google, I can see, I can stroll through the pages, but I can't do nothing with it. I don't know. I have to... I try, I try, and I can't get it to my blog. So I kind of abandoned that. I have to try maybe again one day and see if uh, at least I can get to it and just delete if I'm not using it. But lots of work went up there, and that's actually a blog that really was my teacher as an English. Because it took me forever to write down a few lines of words. And that's the way I, you know, I joined, I was like on the six teams of card making designs. And I was working hard, but the most important for me was, it's the the way you know you make in a blog you need to get description how what what you made how you made so that was a challenge i challenged myself because i wanted to learn english faster and literally sometimes i have to go like to the dictionary to find a word that i need because right now if i don't know something how to spell i can just ask my google and she will tell me and uh, before it was tough but that blog helped me with English a lot helped me have to work with digital images because I applied to be on a team that created cards from digital images and I had no clue how to do that how even print that image to the paper to create cards with it so I was learning and learning. I did study so many hours. I was very stubborn. I was determined to learn. Uh, and uh, whatever I did not know, I would look for YouTube tutorials how to do it. So yeah, that, that was my learning point. And I'm just really happy when I would do something and I know how to do it already. It was awesome. So internet is a wonderful thing to learn. Wow, we have lots of chit-chatting about nothing in here, right? Everything, but not about beating in here. Okay, so together with you, let's just finish this little piece. This video will be a little bit maybe longer, I don't know, because I have to stop this video because of the puppies and commotions. I think we will have around maybe 40 minutes or so. I don't know. On the boxing day, I will go and look for a new camera. I still don't know what I want to purchase. This camera that I'm recording right now, oh my goodness, I'm using for a long, long time. And last Christmas we bought the same camera for Catherine as well. Because I really like this camera as a vlogging camera, as a recording camera. But my camera, because I'm using so often the spring broke where battery compartment open. So, the door the little thing that you know you push button and supposed to be automatically open space 
to the battery and your SD card. It's not opening right now. I just need like you push a button, then you have to kind of flip the camera to open the door, uh, the little hinge up there. But that's not very big problem. But sometimes I have to trick like battery in and out, in and out to actually battery pop because they wouldn't come out. So yeah, that's the little bit. I will, I can go and ask up there to the store where I purchase if it's fixable because it's little, it need to be just a change, little tiny spring. Uh, but if they can't fix it, I still can use it, but I really would love to update to something better, which will cost me a good chunk of money. But something that will record more than just 23 minutes of video. There's some camera, well, it's um, more, of course, expensive. I believe can record uh, one hour even without shutting down. Because my camera don't let me record more than 23 and some seconds. Sometimes record 24 minutes, depends what our camera's thinking. But it's not enough, so I have to always kind of edit video pieces together. If I would have longer time of recording, it would be easier for me to later, you know, upload videos, so it will be less pieces. So I'm thinking, so maybe on a boxing day will be better pricing. Maybe some cameras will be in a good price on sale. So I'm hoping so. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. And I want the camera that have installed um, filters into it. Like filters not to do, for example, makeup tutorials, because that would be cheating. But to use filters if this is, for example, just a friendly chat. And I want to have a little bit like a smoother look on my face. With less wrinkles, you know, I'm 51. What you gonna do? Can't run, cannot run, but you can play with filters to make yourself feel better and at the same time kind of fun. But if I would do tutorials, I would never use filters because I don't like when beauty girls using the filters and that's kind of like misleading on a product. And then you purchase something and it's not as you hope that would be because the girl used filter and you trust her and the product doesn't look smooth like that. So yeah, but I like to have the camera though, just for a reason, whatever, as a vlogging type. Um, okay, so see, I end up in here go this way, but then I'm gonna be far from here. So uh, I was hoping I will come back this line to smoothly transition to this side. But that's okay, I will show you what I will do now. So I will go up. We will finish this line. I'm just trying to pick your beads more kind of um, more like a best shape because some of them like a very thin 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 and that's why they should be more of them so you can have a chance to pick the best one okay last bead in here And what I will do now, I will go one bead down and I'm kind of like a stitching the same beads go backwards. So this row will be stitched kind of twice, but that way I don't have a thread go like a hang and thread from the back. Or you could do like, you know, 
on this side just a wave to get to the other point but I just go backwards from the beads that I stitch let me just get one more in here and we're going to be fine for the next oh sorry I pick up the bead see that's automatically go I don't need a bead in here because I have already and then see I kind of over stitched this row twice so now they will sit kind of nice and tight and I'm just going to continue my journey to the left of my you see enough for the right because you're looking upside down but to the to the left of my so that's how I will continue I think we have a good chunk of video today for you to watch uh, and here it is let me I will zoom out so I can show you better just a minute if I zoom out that you can see better uh, beads quality what we stitch already oh no I need to do I need to see oh no you can see it you see how they fit nicely I think they look good even beads not exactly not exactly good sizing but you cannot see them in here you cannot see it let me zoom out even more further move my camera away so then when I go to the camera the beads will be visible better there see it's nice and it's nice like three dimension looking in here look how nice they all kind of same height in here and if we look in here you can see probably they are kind of sticking out a little where is the camera a little bit sticking out in here because those beads a little bit higher not, not big difference but still so yeah I love it I will recommend you get it and maybe you can stitch together with me at some point right all right so here is our cow I will continue time from time so I can show you more um, more results maybe I will continue a little bit by myself like all the way around in here to finish to this point and then I will start from here and go this way all right and then together with you we will stitch different colors because these two colors I can show you they are very similar colors uh, let me zoom a little bit oh I'm recording on my camera I mean battery dying for the second time that's kind of fast uh, here is the beads okay this one 10 and nine look at this they are very similar to color very big similarity of the color um, it's almost like same color to you but this one more kind of like a pinkish this one more to the cold bluish color but similar so we're not gonna see much oopsie in here we're not gonna see much big difference in these two colors between pink and gray in here because they are very very similar from far you kind of see this is more like a pinkish and this one more bluish reflection of the beads but they are beautiful they are beautiful all right my friends i hope you had fun listen to my blobs uh, blurbs uh, <laughs> to my chit chatting and i will see you next time i'm gonna have my coffee and watch movie with kids you same thing spend some time with your family have a good day